so guys for the first step you want to go to the link which will be down below in the description to download microsoft visual c and now once you're on this you want to scroll down there's going to be two downloads one for x86 and one for x64 we're going to download both of them so you want to click on both of them it's now going to start downloading and now once you downloaded both of them you want to right click on one of them and then click on show in folder and we should now be in our downloads folder with both the downloads we're now going to install both of these one by one i'm going to start with x64 i'm going to double click on it and now this will come up and now once this comes up you want to tick the box i agree and then click on install and then click on yes it's now going to start installing and now once that's been done we can now close all of this and now we're going to install the other one for me it's going to be x86 i'm going to double click on it and again, you want to tick the box, I agree, and then click on install, and then click on yes. It's now going to start installing. Once that's been done, we can now resolve this. For the next step, you want to verify your Battlefield 6 game files, whether you're playing on Steam or the EA app. I'm going to show you how to do it on Steam. So you want to right click on the game, and then click on properties, and then click on installed files, and then click on verify integrity of game files. You want to verify your Battlefield 6 game files. On the EA app, it should be similar. Just go to your game settings and then click on verify. Or it might be saying scan and repair. For the next step, you want to go to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. For the last step, you want to restart your computer. And then the problem should be fixed. If they're still not working, then for the second method, you want to uninstall Battlefield 6 and then reinstall it again. 